Shane here. Welcome to the Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Um, first off, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon for future updates. And with that, uh, today we're going to be going over a little bit of uh, Coinbase news, possibly becoming a bank, and also NiceHash uh, 1060 6 gig versus the 1060 3 gig. Which one's better? All right, we'll find out here in a second. All right, guys, so welcome back. Uh, let's hop in real quick to my NVIDIA rig. So here we are running NiceHash. Now, what I did is um, I stopped mining Ravencoin at the moment because I'm just, just doesn't really appeal to me that much anymore. It just doesn't seem to really, the project doesn't really seem to be going anywhere at the moment. So I've kind of stopped. Uh, pull that sheet up real quick. I've stopped at 2515 Raven coin right now. I'm not getting rid of them So I'm just gonna sit here and hold them now. So what I've decided to do is a uh, run nice hash for a little while and I'm gonna start buying stellar lumens because if you Saw one of my videos last week on stellar lumens. I'll put that up above right here if you want to watch that video They're kind of teaming up with IBM and I think it you know, obviously, uh, could be a good thing for them. And Stella Lumens, last time I checked, was 31 cents a coin. We can probably check that real quick. Should be XLM. Yeah, 31.8 cents a coin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mine nice hash, send that over to Binance, and buy Stella Lumens. So that's what I'm going to do here for at least a little while. I'm still mining Tron, as you can see here. Well, mining Ethereum, sending it, sending it over to Binance and buying Tron. Um, at 9.49 right now, Ethereum. I think roughly when I hit $15, it'll cash out over to Binance, and I'll be able to buy some more Tron. I'm at 199 so far this week. Anyways, let's get back over here. Let me stop this real quick. If it'll let me. Let's hit stop. Let's go to hardware details. Let's turn the CPU off. And let's start first with the 3 gig, 1063 gig. And let's see what that's doing. Well, let's spool up here a little bit. I think, uh, what are we mining right now? We're mining, looks like, Equihash right now, as you can see it right below here. Jumped up to $1.98, now it's the $0.94. Cents. 263 hashes a second, 264. So it looks like it's going to settle in at about $0.94. Cents. So there it's at 95 now. Maybe give it just a little bit longer. And then we'll shut that off. All right. So it looks like it's going to settle right in about 95 cents. So the 1063 gig, gigabyte, 95 cents. So let's stop that. Let's go in. Let's turn that off. Let's turn the 6 gig on and see what that's going to pull. So we were 95 cents with the 3 gig. And this is on Equihash as well. The 3 gig was doing about 260 uh, hashes on Equihash. Right here we're at 284 so far. It should get up to probably close to around 300, I would guess. So we're at $1.4, $1.3, 286 hashes, 288. So it looks like it may settle in right around a dollar three, dollar four. We'll call it a dollar four. So it's only doing nine more cents. Is that right? Yeah, we were 95 cents on the three gig. So for the six gig, you're only getting nine more cents a day on nice hash, both mining Equihash. So that's a pretty comparable comparison of the two cards. And I think it's about anywhere from 75 to $100 more for the six gig. But I still wouldn't get the 3 gig anymore because going forward, I don't think it'll be too much longer be 
therefore it won't be able to mine Ethereum anymore because um, just of the uh, DAG file size, I believe it is. So let's stop that in case anyone is wondering what my CPU does. It's a Core i i5 8600K, 3.8, 3.6 gigahertz. We'll turn that on real quick. So I think last I checked, it was doing 24 cents a day, which is uh, better than it was getting when I was um, mining uh, Monero earlier. It was 20 cents. I think Monero was doing about 13 cents a day um, when I was just straight mining it with the XM rig. So here's this window, and it's doing kryptonite. Yep, kryptonite V7. And it's sitting at about 20 cents. So we'll call it 20 cents. So it's seven more cents a day um, than it was doing over on XM Rig. So that's one of the reasons I switched. Let's turn all these back on and go. Because, um, like I said, Raven was starting starting to dwindle down a little bit so I just thought I would start getting a different coin that's why I add this little stat here uh, graphics stellar mine this week so once this pays out which probably won't be this week because I won't be able to get enough I will uh, cash that out and send that over to Binance and buy some stellar lumens which would be roughly I'm guessing about $20, so let's do some math real quick. 20 divided by 0.3, let's just say 0.32, I'll be able to buy 62 Stellar Lumen. Well, it's better than nothing. So anyways, that's what this is doing this week. Um, total value mine is 439.70. It's up uh, over 405, which was last week's week ending total. Which is good, so it's up $34. The markets are up just a little bit. Nothing to get too excited about. Tron made a nice little bump today. About a cent. About when he got almost 10,000 coins, it's good. So, uh, some news. Wall Street Journal news. About Coinbase. Wall Street Journal Coinbase spoke to U.S. regulators about acquiring federal banking license. So now it appears as that uh, Coinbase wants to become a bank as well. Major U.S. cryptocurrency exchange and wallet Coinbase spoke to regulators about obtaining a federal banking charter, according to a report by the Wall Street Journal May 18th. Citing a person familiar with the matter, the Wall Street Journal reports that Coinbase spoke with U.S. Office of the Comptroller of Cryptocurrency, at the beginning of 2018, both about a bank charter and about their business model. Um, goes on just to talk about adding services they offer. Um, as the Wall Street Journal points out, our federal banking license would allow Coinbase to offer its own custody and payment services using an OCC limited purpose charter, also helping the company attract more institutional customers, which is why I brought that article up more institutional customers again more and more bullish news about cryptocurrency and them institutional um, investors coming into the market and this will uh, obviously help them it would also allow coinbase to deal with only one federal regulator as opposed to a multitude of state ones as well as offer users federally and ins federally insured bank accounts so all in all, that's good news, I think, for cryptocurrency. Um, it does need more regulations, as people have said before, just so these big institutional investors will start coming into the market because it'll be, they'll feel safer to invest. So second half of this year could be big, guys, and I'm hoping it is. I'm sure everyone else is. Um, markets right now, let's go over here. Still sitting below 400 billion on market cap, 380 billion right now, which is a little lower than it was last week. Last week it was all hanging around most of the week around 400 billion, uh, but Bitcoin's at 8,300, almost 8,400. So, like I said, it's 
just trading level, kind of stagnant as well as everything else. So I'm just holding everything going forward for now and hoping it goes up. Okay, guys, so I guess that's it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, just put them in the comment section down below. If you guys like the video, uh, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Again, spread the word. The bigger the channel gets, the bigger Bitcoin Fridays gets, okay? Um, you should see a pop-up coming up probably up here about Bitcoin Fridays and a subscribe button well, probably about right here. All right, guys, so with that, be sure to leave me a comment. I get back all of them. I um, like reading them, and I appreciate them. Okay, guys? So I guess I will see you all tomorrow. And with that, you all take care. Have yourself a good day, okay? Bye.